has captured Captain Keyes and are holding him aboard one of their cruisers, the Truth and Reconciliation. The ship is currently holding position approximately 300 meters above the other end of this plateau. So how do we get inside the ship if it's in the air? The Corps issued me a rifle, not wings. There's a gravity lift that ferries troops and supplies between the ship and the surface. That's our ticket in. Once we get inside the ship, I should be able to lock on to the tracking signal from Captain Key's neural implants. Let's hit him, Marines! Go, go, go! The Corps ain't paying us by the hour! Stick to the higher ground to the right. We should be able to recon the Covenant position without being spotted. I've detected Covenant stationary guns near the next pass. I recommend using your sniper rifle to take out the gunners while I call for Marine support. Get ready to move in to support us, Sergeant. The Master Chief is going to covertly take out as many of the Covenant as he can. Don't open fire until you hear the enemy return fire on us. That should let us keep the element of surprise. Hey guys, this is Iron Squire, and I'm talking quiet because we have to sneak around here in the beginning of this mission. This mission is called Truth and Reconciliation, and we're going to be boarding that, that thing that I totally didn't do right. First, you want to start out by taking out the gunners here. They're not too, Alert. too annoying. The Covenant is making a run for that stationary gun. Take him out. The Covenant are too, too annoying. And sorry for being quiet there. Just trying to make sure that I won't get interrupted once again. Oh my gosh, that was stupid. It's probably going to become a theme of this Let's Play. The fact that I keep accidentally throwing grenades instead of reloading. So yeah, the gunners aren't too, too annoying, but it is good to keep... Um, kill them just so that, like you guys are seeing here, that you don't take massive shield damage. <coughs> Sorry about the momentary sounds, I had to cough. Alright. So this is, this is the beginning of missions that are going to get long. After this, I'd say we're getting into the long missions of this game, and basically from here on, they're all going to be Stop. pretty dang long. Motion tracker shows movement around the next bend. We'll be ready to advance as soon as you call for us, Cortana. Hey, we did it! We're right behind you, Chief! Alright, what I recommend doing is doing a little bit of sneaking here. Oops, I missed. What you want to do when you're aiming for the stationary guns is the um, grunts have a little bit of a hump right on their back. So, and you want to aim for that. Hold on. Sorry about that. Something weird with my throat. I don't know what's going on. I felt fine before I started recording. Probably just a little bit of nerves. Anyway. Oh, he's... Sure as he had no shields. Alright, this guy's a little bit more difficult to deal with because he's red armor, which means that he incre has increased shields and armor. So... Let's just try to see if we can't take him out quick. Once the shields are down, two melee hits will kill him, so keep that in mind. But you don't want to melee if your shields are down unless you actually know what you're doing. Because I believe one hit from then will either kill you or it'll, it'll pretty darn well cripple you. Alright. Alright, well I do want to apologize for these videos being so late. I actually, The program that I used to uh, download videos was actually glitching out a, little, a lot. I'm not even sure if this... Thank you. I'm not even entirely sure if this video is going to be uploaded because, I mean, it may just glitch out. Dang it. What was a day when I would have been able to take him out? This example of uh, Elite actually landing a melee attack, took down like three-fourths of my shields. There's that. Again, focus down the turrets first because they're, uh... They can be pretty devastating at normal, they're not the worst thing in the world. But after a while, especially if your goal is to keep Marines alive, they can be pretty bad. My first take of doing this, I actually lost all my Marines several times, so... I'm wondering if that's going to be a repeat. It doesn't necessarily bother me, it's just... It is what it is, you know? Some people like keeping Marines alive. For me, it's not my top priority. Dang it! And that is a, that is something. It, when you get hit when you're in, when you're in the scope, it's kind of like the TF uh, Team Fortress Two 
sniper, you're you will not. Yeah, you'll flinch. You won't. You'll your zoom will vanish. Alert! Covenant dropships are inbound. All right. Gosh dang it! I am coughing like crazy tonight. So yeah, if you ever hear the mic mute and for a couple seconds there's no commentary, it's not that I'm kind of just not talking. It's that. I'm probably muting my mic to cough. In fact, after this battle, I may cut ahead real quick and go get some water. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, what I wanted to talk about, and I'm kind of just going to introduce the topic before I go, like, before I go get some water real quick, is I wanted to talk about where these rings came from. Because if you're new to the Halo universe, you're going to be wondering, well, what the heck have we landed on? The game didn't really give a good description. And, it, and the game really doesn't until, or the universe doesn't do that until the second game. So hold on, I'll be right back. For you guys, it'll just be one second. For me, it'll probably be a couple minutes. So, see you in a minute. Alright guys, I'm back, and I am very sorry for that. Although, for you, it was kind of just a second. Though, in the video, I'll probably make it a couple more seconds than that. Alright, so let us get back into the game. Alright, I believe we were heading down here. So, what I was going to talk about, where do these rings come from? Well, believe it or not, there was actually a time before the present human history. By present human history... I'm talking about right now, where the situation that humanity's in with the Covenant. There was actually a time before this. We're directly under the ship now. All right, are we fed or what? If we're gonna board that thing, we need a plan. The Covenant use a gravity lift to move troops and supplies between the ship and the surface. We need to ambush them at the grav lift's loading zone and use the lift to enter the ship. Gosh dang it, did he really just frag grenade me? Oh what? gosh, I hit the wrong button. If we're gonna board that thing, we need a plan. The Covenant use a gravity lift to move troops and supplies between the ship and the surface. We need to ambush them at the grav lift's loading zone and use the lift to enter the ship. Contact! Enemy in sight! Crap! Those stationary guns are gonna tear us to pieces! Keep it up! Get out! Alright, so now that they're finally done talking, there was a time before this, and there's actually a reason why why it's never mentioned. So what ends up happening is there was a phrase... Oh, phrase. <laughs> that was bad. Okay, there was a race called the Forerunners. Now, and they built... Covenant dropships are inbound. Can I... Yeah, Marine, you're right. There is always something. I always get interrupted. Sorry, guys, I'm a little irritated about that. It's just, you know, I'm trying to stay on topic. Because I do have a tendency to get lost, and I am trying to improve that, so I apologize for the time if I've irritated anyone with getting lost. And kind of, you know, with getting fragmented by my own teammates. Who are big morons. Like, not a fan. Now I feel like my subconscious is trying to kill them. I'm sure Freud would agree. Anyway, so there was a race called the Forerunners, and they built these rings. Now, for what reason, I'm not actually going to get into, because it has to do with the later part of the game that I don't want to spoil for anyone. So... Um, I don't, I don't necessarily remember which which level it is. However, I, it will be mentioned in that level when we get to it. So I and you guys probably know which level I'm talking about. So skip ahead if you or if you're watching this on an archive, or if not, you'll just have to wait. Sorry. All right. So we'll talk a little bit more about how this history works. So what happened is there were all these races that you see right now back in this time period, and it was like. I'm, I'm not going to get into any, any debates about real real time and whether or not evolution happened. I'm just going to give you the Halo canon or canonical timeline, and I'm just going to leave it at that. Whether or not do you believe in evolution, that's that's not my. I'm not going to get into it. So I think it was roughly a hundred thousand years ago. We uh. We, as humanity, were a space-faring race. Well, you, you would say, well, what's the difference between then and now? Well, you're right. That is a valid point. However, we are much more advanced then. I mean, basically take Covenant technology, and that's basically what we had. Our ships, instead of just Translate Drive, which, we, which for now is very, very inaccurate. By the way, I'll be getting into this race in a minute once I'm done talking. Um... It was extremely accurate. We can move from any point to any point with ex with very good accuracy. We were extremely powerful. I mean, 
So we were, we were a very powerful race, you know? Okay. This is the hunter. This is the guy that I was saying. Once we're inside the ship, I can home in on the captain's command neural interface. They'll probably be in or near the ship's brig, which should narrow our search. Echo 419 inbound. Clear the drop zone. Thank you. Shut up now. Sorry. Alright. That is a hunter. At full combat height, he stands 18 feet tall. Crouch down, he stands 12, compared to our... Somewhere between seven to nine feet. All right. And, and grafted into one of their arms is a large metal shield of some unknown alloy that can block any and all attacks that we know of so far. And grafted onto the other arm is a large fuel rod cannon. It fires a condenser bolt of plasma that does a lot of damage. They're rather powerful, and they always come in pairs. So your main, like the main thing that you want to do is you want to always sidestep when the, their melee attacks. And we'll be finding them later, so I'll be talking about this when we get to them. But mainly, you want to be sidestepping their melee attacks and keep firing at the orange flesh in, in between them. And I'll be talking about the, more about the hunters and the and their orange flesh later on. All right. So I believe we're going to get a cutscene, so I'm going to beat my mic and once again not talk because guess what? The game's doing it for me. CNI transponder. No covenant defenses detected. What? There's no covenant here. I think maybe nobody's home. Alright. Now, do not believe Cortana, there is actually a covenant here. Invisible with an energy sword. Energy sword is a one hit kill, so be careful. He is a very easy he can be easy to find because his gravity is in gravity sword. His energy sword floats in the air. However, he can be difficult. If he if you get if he gets close enough to you. Anyway, I'm going to be continuing my talk about the forerunners. And if you frag grenade me one more time, I will kill you. I'm sorry, I just got a little angry. Anyway, the forerunner were more advanced than us. If or I should take that back, they were basically on par with us. If you can believe it, they were they were. Ex almost exactly where we were. No one knows exactly what they look like, but they were aliens. So, I mean, it's open to interpretation. But, they... And all these races here existed. The elites, the, or the Sangheli, the jackals, the ungoy, the grunts, and no, jackals' native names are not ungoy, they're, um, Kigiar. I just said ungoy because that's what a grunt is. Alright. So they all existed, but in... Basically the same state they are now, except there was no covenant. There was individual races, or at least no covenant as we know it. There may still have been a, an alliance of sorts. There may still have been some sort of an agreement. We just don't know for sure. You deserved it, and um, <laughs> and so that's. Hold on, watch. Cortana's gonna be talking again. Oh no, I forgot about this part. What you want to do here? Just kill the two jackals, and then it'll start queuing more. Start queuing more talking. How are you not dead? Look, 